What's going on guys? Uh, so this is the 21st Pokemon Mystery Mail Day. I'm actually going to open up uh, a pack just cause. Uh, spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna open up this mail. This could be, ooh, this could be a pack. This could be a vintage pack, ooh. More likely a pack than a card from what I'm feeling, but it could be cardboard uh, over uh, a top loader. So we'll find out. Seller said, thanks, Orion. Um, uh, also, I wanted to point out my Mercari, where I sell a lot of theme decks. I will be selling this, um, this Blaine theme deck to an Anthony Lee. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Um, so just to show you guys the contents here. The box could be in better shape, for sure. Could be in slightly better shape, but the actual cards themselves, this Arcanine is beautiful. This Arcanine is in very good shape. The hollow is very nice. It has a really, really tiny crease that you can't even see on the side here. Um, and then of course we've got the deck. Um, I pointed out to the seller, you guys might not be able to see it in the camera, but there's just some slight warping. If I press down with my fingers, you can see the cards are a little warped. Uh, I pointed that out. Uh, I'm shipping everything with care. Uh, but yeah, great cards. Deck is worn. I am selling this for $150, uh, which is the cheapest on the market. The only other option I see for an open deck is $250, which is a lot of money for a vintage theme deck. Uh, in my opinion, it's too much money. Um, I The sealed versions of this Blaine... Uh, theme deck are going for six hundred, six to nine hundred, um, which is just insane. I'm actually trying to get a sealed one right now for three fifty. Um, but anyways, here you have it. We've got our deck here, and also uh, because they're a first time buyer, they're not a return buyer. But even though they're a first time buyer, I will be including these goodies. You can find uh, me on my Mercari, Orion Sires. If you just look up Pokemon theme decks, you will likely find all of my theme decks up for sale. I am the only person on Mercari that is selling theme decks the way I'm selling them. I have tons of stuff. Every time I put up a theme deck, like this Blaine deck, I have another one in its place to put up. I've got a stock, a huge inventory pretty much that I've stocked up from the last couple years, um, especially this year. Um, where I really got into it. Um, but I've got another one of these I'll be posting soon. It won't be for 150. I'll probably post it more for 180, 200, maybe 220, uh, because it isn't the other one I'm going to put up is in immaculate condition. Um, so this one's probably the cheapest one I'll ever sell. Uh, but I'm going to include these packs as well. Now these are open. I just used uh, the same packs because I'm very careful with the pack art and I put 10, uh, 11 randomized cards in each of these, four randomized hollows from the celebrations packs, and I'm gonna package all this stuff in there, as well as uh, I like to do a little uh, doodle illustration of Pikachu with a thank you card. I like to do that for all my buyers because I never get anything like that. I mean, thanks Orion. It's really, it's, it's nice, but I would like it if sellers actually did a little bit extra put in a little bit of extra work. Um, so this is very personal from me. Uh, I'll send a card, I send gifts. Uh, but yeah, I just love building these little uh, gift boxes with these packages I send out. This will be shipped using Bubble. So we'll get this guy wrapped up here shortly. But anyways, now to the good stuff. Pokemon Mail Day number 21. Let's open this guy up. I have no idea where my box cutter went. That's weird. Um, okay, we'll just open this guy up. Just try and, if I can, open this guy up. Ugh, guys, I'm having difficulty getting this thing open right here. Um, okay, I got my finger underneath this seal. I really dislike how hard this is to open. Okay. Okay, we got a card, we got a single card. Put this away, I, I always reuse my shipping stuff. 
Got some cardboard. What did we get? Nice. I've really been looking forward to this um, Scizor. Uh, this is the evolved steel form of Scyther. Uh, this is from Neo Discovery, I believe. Let's see. Uh, Neo Discovery is what it's from. Card is in really great shape. They shipped it in a little plastic envelope and a top loader with a sleeve inside. That's as professional as it gets. Uh, that's all I ask. I don't really care about the cardboard. It's a nice touch, but um, for the most part, just being shipped in a top loader uh, is, is all I ask. Um, this card's in really, really great shape. I don't know if y'all can see that. So there's a slight scuff on this top loader. I'm gonna take this out to put in with the rest of my cards anyways. I don't see any serious imperfections. Yep, looks good. Looks really, really good. Show that to you guys. So this is the Neo Discovery Scizor. Um, I just decided instead of buying packs for a lot of these other booster booster boxes that I would just go ahead and go for the, um, the rares and all of them. And that way that would save me a lot of time tracking them down. Uh, now, in terms of the base set, like this base set box right here will be the first box that I actually try and fill full of packs. And I think from there, I'm going to work on to the other booster boxes buying these separate packs. It's just so expensive to buy a whole booster box. So it, and, and honestly, for me, someone who likes to sell stuff, um, it's better to have all the open packs. That way I can start selling them. Once I complete the 36 packs, I will actually start selling on my Mercari base set booster packs and then after I complete base set I'm most likely going to go for jungle first edition fossil first edition uh, I will leave shadows first edition alone for a while uh, legendary collection and neo revelations those will be big ones uh, base set two I might actually go after next I actually have 15 packs in my neo destiny booster box so i'm pretty happy with that they are open they came with the box with cards in them with open packs which i have no issue against just as good to me um but if i'm gonna buy stuff online and i'm not getting it for free as a gift i might as well buy the sealed product it's just hard because booster packs now sealed booster packs from the vintage era they are going for like 300 a pop or more um 300 like is like a base price for base set two i think is the cheapest and then there's gym heroes and gym challenge those and jungle and fossil just unlimited not first edition those are going for around 150 to 180 across the board so you are not getting a vintage booster pack for less than 100 bucks let's just put it that way um, but without further ado we've got this uh, evolving skies pack i'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up uh, I wanted, my wife actually wanted to do a video of us uh, doing like a late night opening of two packs, but we just, we were so tired. So I'm doing this right now, and then I've got to run to UPS and drop some stuff off um, while she watches the baby. We're going to go grocery shopping today. Maybe we'll, ooh, I, li I, I like this pack art with uh, the Rayquaza. Can't really see the hollow behind him but beautiful pack art on this pack i love these so much i'm gonna go ahead and weigh this guy out it's kind of a loose pack which i don't really like that but it's all good 22 22.2 it's kind of the uh the usual so i think this is the third or fourth oh this one's already tearing um I think this is the third, oh dang, this one just ripped. It just did not want to cooperate. I think this is the, wow, this pack, honestly, if, if, if I were to think anything was resealed, it would be this pack right here because it just, it, it should never like rip, rip apart like that, honestly. It should be a clean, a very clean opening. Um, I guess it's just differences in the kind of glues they used. But like, yo, I am struggling to get this other section open, which is a huge red flag for me personally. I am very OCD. I know there are factory errors, but these packs are very easy to open. And the fact that it was so difficult like that, like that is kind of sus. Um, and I get a lot of these packs from pretty much all of them I get from GameStop. So whatever goes on, I don't know what their vendors are like. Uh, I like to think everything that goes in there is legit. Um, I guess we'll find out opening this pack. 
Um, we've got our pack art here, still pretty good. I can reuse these down the road when I send extra cards to people. Okay, we've got our code card, which is black border, which means there's probably nothing good in here. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, we'll put those in the front. All right, let's do this. We've got uh, Steel Energy. What is that? Skip Bloom? I think that evolved from Hopip. Yep. Skip Bloom evolved from Hopip. I don't have Skip Bloom, so I actually wanted him. Uh, Fletchner evolved from Fletchning. I don't have Fletchner, so that's another one that I wanted for the set. Uh, Shopping Center. Uh, looks like Nicket. Yep. Uh, I think this is the uh, Bergmite. Bergmite is kind of like a play on icebergs. Carvana, it's kind of our, um, uh, what are those, what are those called? Um, those really vicious fish. I'm trying to think what they're called. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting the, the name of these, um, in real life, what the, what this reminds me of. Um, Piranha, Carvana Piranha, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, Amolga, I have not gotten Amolga. I guess it's a mouse electric type kind of similar to Pikachu. Um, Slack off. The, ooh, nice. Really, really nice. Um, I got Shift Tree. I'm really, really happy with this rare. Shift Tree looks incredible. Um, I, oh wow, it's actually a reverse hollow Shift Tree. Far out. I got the uh, rare and it is a reverse hollow shift tree. Super stoked. He looks really, really good. Uh, we also got Altaria again. This is the second Altaria we got. So this pack pull, I'm very happy with. I'm a huge fan of shift tree. I really like this. And this is funny because shift tree is actually, you know, I'm pretty sure from Sapphire it's a grass type, but they have him as a dark type, which I, I really like this uh, dark uh, template. Uh, anyways, that's it for that pack poll. That is that wraps up the 21st uh, Pokemon Mystery Mail Day. I'm going to go ship out Anthony's deck right now to UPS. And that's a wrap, guys. Um, if you guys ever need cards, everything I sell is authentic. I don't have the best prices around, but I have the best communication. I guarantee it. The best customer service. I guarantee it. If there's ever a problem, I always make it right. I have no issue having people return stuff, even though that hasn't happened yet. And I also have a five-star rating on Mercari. I'm coming up on 50 sales now. Now these are all expensive decks, so I've done somewhere around five grand in sales. So um, I, I, I like to think that it's doing pretty well. Um, I would like to start selling single cards, and I'd also like to start selling packs, but I need to wait till the market goes up, because right now you can't make any money selling these packs and I've bought so many of them that I don't want to just give them away. Um, anyways, that's a wrap guys. And, uh, thank you for tuning in and subscribing. If you haven't, um, please hit the like button, please subscribe. It really helps the algorithms for YouTube. Uh, they, they pick up on this stuff ASAP and then you get more viewership and more subscribers naturally. So it really helps and it would really push me uh, to do more videos. Anyways, I'm going to keep trying to do content to do a video a day. I also want to do vlog style stuff. Um, I did a video with our baby girl. Um, I, I want to do more videos like that. I, I really have this idea. I want to put, I want to put, um, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle in front of her in like different areas of the living room. And I wanna see once she can crawl, I wanna see which one she crawls to. Kind of funny, but like, but like kind of like just like the Game Boy games. I wanna see my daughter actually pick out her starter Pokemon. And then that'll kind of be her plush toy. And when she gets older, I'll be like, you walked over to this Pokemon. Anyways, that's a wrap guys. Appreciate you guys, much love.